Welcome to a lecture on Tom Thumb, an English folktale. This is a companion to the reading of Tom Thumb video. So one iconic folktale of England is Tom Thumb. Many students have heard of the character Tom Thumb in nursery rhymes. However, Tom Thumb was really popular in Britain for quite a while. There are many versions of the Tom Thumb story, many of which involve him becoming a favorite of the famous King Arthur. The history of Tom Thumb was first published in 1621 and was the first fairy tale printed in English. Tom is no bigger than his father's thumb, and his original adventures include being swallowed by a cow, tangling with giants, and attending King Arthur's court at Camelot. The earliest allusions to Tom occur in various 16th century works, where Tom is cited as one of the supernatural folk employed by servant maids to frighten children. Tattershall, England is the supposed home and grave of the original and supposedly real Tom Thumb. In the mid-18th century, books began to be published specifically for children, and by the mid-19th century, Tom was a fixture of the nursery library. The tale took on moral overtones, and some writers rewrote questionable passages to be more child-appropriate, though there are still plenty of Tom Thumb tales published with adult-style vulgarities. We can see that any look at British literature should at least give a nod to Tom Thumb. We have the archetypal childless couple who would do anything for a child and even make a wish that results in dubious offspring. We have the mythological nod to creatures which are supernatural and cannot be explained. Maybe we even have an anthropological nod to dwarfism. We have a series of adventurous escapades in which Tom is a slippery and intelligent character who outwits everyone just as everyday people may have imagined doing in the 1600s. Any portion of this tale is silly today, but that's a nod to the art of storytelling, particularly in taverns after many drinks acted out with some ad-libbing would certainly make it more humorous than when the story simply read. Tom does all the things a tiny supernatural creature might do. He helps his family. He brings his family prosperity. He outwits thieves, finds himself in the stomachs of some animals, and then returns to his loving family. As I mentioned, older tales were much more bawdy and included a lot more bodily humor and sexual innuendos. Plus, there is the old standard of back in the time of King Arthur. Tom is a parody of ancient chivalric knights in a Chaucerian satire style. Gradually, Tom, like many other original fairy and folktale characters, has been cleaned up and remade for children, but the setting, characterizations, and style still give us a view into the life of the working class 400 years ago in England. This has been a production of Kindred Curriculum by Lisa M. Kendrick. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks so much for listening.